and it just took me by surprise I really did start crying at that point I know it's like extra but I really did start crying because it was just so unexpected at that point hey guys welcome back to my channel and today is gonna be my very first story time video so that's kind of exciting and it's gonna be about our experience with Arias getting her very first pair of toddler glasses so if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers and turn on your notification bell so you can keep up with all of our new videos so let's get started <laughs> Okay guys, so as of right now, Arielis is three years old and she got her first pair of glasses when she was two. And we got checked out and we did this whole process when she was two years old. So she has about one year with her glasses now. And to be completely um, honest, she took on to them really quickly. She actually really does need them. So she asks for them all the time and she leaves them on. So this is actually a really, really good thing. So when this process started, um, the signs for me, I don't know if it's the same for everyone else, but for me, it was that she started blinking. Like she wasn't really squinting, but she was like blinking all the time. She was blinking, blinking, blinking all the time. Like it was just the, the weirdest thing. Like she would just blink all the time. And then... Of course, with the TV, she didn't want to sit down and watch TV. She would get so upset when um, we would tell her to sit down and then she would go sit and like literally five minutes later, she'll be back in front of the TV. So that was another clue that was like, maybe she just cannot see. So she was actually doing the TV thing for like longer than the blinking. Um, I just thought she was just being kind of a toddler and not just sitting down and paying attention. So I would always bypass that, but she really was always like watching TV, standing up and never sitting down um, on the couch anyway. So one day she started blinking and I just found it completely and utterly odd and whatever I started monitoring in like two days after she was still doing the same thing. So at that point I was like, okay, so we're going to go to the pediatrician and see what's happening. So we went to the pediatrician because at that point I still um, didn't take Ariella to the uh, like eye doctors yet. She still didn't have like a primary eye doctor. And um, her pediatrician, that's exactly what he recommended. He was like, well, from here she looks fine, but I can't tell you if she needs glasses or not. So what you're going to have to do is um, make an appointment to see the optometrist. So from there, it was actually really good because um, the same um, clinic that I go to also has like an eye doctor's place. So she got an appointment within another two days and we went. We went and at this point, I know that something is wrong. So I'm not completely shocked or anything if they let me know if she has glasses or not or whatever the case. So, you know, clearly something's wrong. So I go, and she has a checkup, and, um, you know, they, they put, you know, those, that machine to see if she can see. They tell her to read, um, some of the letters. At this point, she's two, so she doesn't know, like, exactly what's going on. So they can't tell if, like, she doesn't know the letters or that she can't see the letters, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, what is happening? So it can be kind of tricky with toddlers. But at that point, and at that first appointment, they had let me know that everything was okay. They gave me, like, these drops, and they told me to come back the following week. I remember that day was a Friday, so they wanted us to come back the following Friday. So, because we do that, I'm thinking, like, we're in the clear, because they just gave us these drops and said that everything looked fine and everything looked normal just to come back for a regular follow-up so when we come back for that follow-up that's when they kind of do like more invasive testing I guess and um like right in the middle of the the checkup they let me know that you know Arielis needs glasses 
and it just took me by surprise I really did start crying at that point I know it's like extra but I really did start crying because it was just so unexpected at that point when I went for the first appointment like I was not nowhere near shocked if she's gonna need glasses because like I said clearly something is wrong but it was just that initial like I thought we were in the clear you know what I mean like that was really what bugged me because they could have easily said something the first appointment which was why we went there in the first place so when we came back I really just thought it was a follow-up I really just thought it was a checkup so when they did that I really was taken back and I was crying and I was really sad I was really emotional um and I was really trying so hard guys I was trying so hard not to cry not to show it because I mean it's glasses at the end of the day I wear glasses um on her dad's side she has a an aunt that wears really really thick glasses and she really cannot see so I really like I told you like I was not I wouldn't even be upset if she had glasses like I was expecting it to tell you the truth like I really was expecting it um but the simple fact that I thought that you know we were in the clear and she didn't need it and they, they came back and told us that that's what really what caused my meltdown and at that point um her dad wasn't there with us he was at work and you know I'm like in this doctor's office with my baby and like just feeling so sad I remember in that moment how sad I felt I felt like I don't know it just felt like bad news you know it just it really did feel like bad news and bad news is never a good thing because I don't want to compare it to something else you know because it's just glasses at the end of the day but I had my hopes up was really what it was I had my hopes up that she didn't need it and it turns out she did so that was really that and um so after that they let me know um like her eyesight so you know how there's like positive and negative and the positive is if like okay I don't want to get too technical because I know there's like nearsightedness and farsightedness I can't see from far away my daughter also can't see from far away um, and my prescription is negative um, 2.5 and hers is worse than mine and she's at negative 4.0 so um me knowing that i can see that she really is struggling to see just because i'm at a negative 2.5 and i can and i wear my glasses regularly all the time you can see all my videos i always have my glasses on because i i can't see from far away and it's uncomfortable just having blurry vision so i can only imagine if she's at um a negative 4.0 which is probably like double mine um, she's also just like not having the best vision so I'm really happy that we got that corrected I'm really happy that she has glasses and like I told you in the beginning she took to them super super well um, we didn't have like this moment of her trying them on and throwing them out like she knew that she needed them from the beginning she was really happy when she had them she always asked for them she never takes them off um, so I am really happy because she needed them and, and now she can see so after they let us know, um, she just wants to go get fitted for her glasses. Um, we picked up her glasses and we found some frames for her. The one thing I can absolutely tell you is that she breaks her glasses all of the time. This is an example of one of her glasses that she broke. There's probably like five of these like laying around all over the house. She always snaps one of the legs. Like that is a real thing that she does. She snaps the legs and um... It happens all the time whether she's running around jumping around whatever she always snaps the legs or at first now it's because she's like active but at first she would literally just like snap them off like like can these stretch like that's exactly what she would do when she would just snap them off um, but the good thing about that is that my insurance covers um, not when she breaks the lens, but when she like breaks the the outside, I'm not sure, what the, the frame, there you go, um, whenever she breaks the frame, um, so they just, as long as you're not breaking the lens, um, they'll like pop them back in as soon as you go to the, to the eye doctors and you get new ones, so that's really good for me because she always breaks these and um, we can always get new ones, so that's really good. 
Um, so they fit her for glasses. And like I told you, I was still in that emotional breakdown phase. I also didn't think that she was um, so visually impaired, I want to say. Um, so I, I was a little bit in denial. I think that's really what, what it was. Like, I really was in denial. I was like, okay, if it really was this serious, you would have told me the first time around. Um, and I'm kind of not trusting you right now. So that, that really was where I was at. We, we fitted her for her glasses. We did all her stuff. But, like, I really was just like, you don't know what you're talking about, you know. It was really sad. And I just, I didn't believe it at first. Um, to tell you the honest truth, I didn't. And I was upset. I was upset. I, I was. I really was. And, um, you know, Ariella, this is my only child, you know, so I'm very super crazy, like, protective over her, you know? Like, even if I had multiple kids, it's just one of those things that it's like, this is my first time and everything's a, a learning experience with her, you know? It's my first time being a mom and she's my only daughter and everything is just super critical, you know? So whatever, I came back home and I called another um, eye doctor and um, I, I went to like a specialist uh, at an actual hospital and they gave me an appointment um, probably like a week after and um, we went over there and we did everything and you know they pretty much just confirmed it. They were like yeah she has bad eyesight you know like they did like um they used this machinery and, and everything. And, and actually, that's where they let me know that she was like a negative 4.0. At the other play, they were being, um, at the other eye doctor, they were being super conservative and um, said that she was a uh, negative 3.0 um, because they didn't want to put so much augmentation in her glasses starting so young. Um, like I said, she started off wearing glasses at 2. Um, so they were being conservative about that. That second one was when, like, they're like, no. Like, they have, like, all the fancy machinery and stuff, and they put things in her eyes and whatever. And, um, there was, like, she's actually a negative 4.0. So she actually, like, does need glasses, and she has, um, you know, sight problems. So going there, definitely, um, I was still sad, of course, but it just made it more real, you know? And now I was actually more happy that I was, like, treating the pro um the the problem and that i had two places that i can go she has kind of like the one she goes for like a routine check and then she goes to the specialty one um whatever i have questions or if i feel like something's wrong so she has two places for that and i'm actually really happy that we're able to to do that and um other than that that's that's kind of our story you know um it wasn't the happiest thing to to find out but it actually was super super useful so um it, and it's also not the worst thing in the world Ariella's like i told you she she took to her glasses and she looks so cute <laughs> she does look so cute and, uh, like you know she just looks like a little grown-up now but um it's really important guys if you if you feel like your kid needs glasses or if they need hearing aids or something like that i remember that at that point in time you know you always go to your pediatrician to check on their health but you never really check on their their senses you know so just pay attention for their eyesight and their hearing and even their speech you know there's just so many things to look out for when they're babies and they're toddlers and once they get bigger you know even teenagers like there's so many things to look out for for your kids and even their teeth take them to go see the dentist there's just so many things that that we need to be aware of you know so if you have any concerns about that with your kids just bring it up to your doctor or just make an appointment and it just it really doesn't hurt to check because it can easily be like situation like this and they can go on until they're like you know first grade and kindergarten where they get screened and having all that time you know with bad hearing or with uh, bad eyesight you know it's, it's probably not a good thing so it's better to kind of nip it in the bud in the beginning and you know help your kids out 
Alright guys, so that's it. That is the end of this video. This was actually a really fun story time for me. Uh, it was very informative. I hope this helps somebody out out there. Um, I've been dying actually to do another story time about my pregnancy with hyperemesis. Even though it was three years ago, I remember it vividly because it was the worst experience of my natural born life. So hopefully I'll be able to do that um, story time next time. But if you like this video, guys, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see you next time, guys, with a new video. Bye. Stay blessed.